Hi, Dennis Green here, uh, Southern California Inland Empire. Um, I thought tomorrow being uh, World Wildlife Day, uh, it would be worth mentioning a conversation I held with a couple of park rangers yesterday, um, on Monday the 1st. And we were all discussing who we thought might be most influential in the United States, um, 20th century. Uh, in the preservation of wildlife and wilderness and we all all of us came up with the same three names which might be pretty rare but we did uh, Ansel Adams through his photography and, and uh, you know lifelong work trying to uh, bring to the general public a view of America uh, especially the West Coast the Yosemite the Big Sur areas and um, and, and for purposes of salvaging them from private industry abuse. Um, Ernest Thompson Seton, um, genius naturalist, writer, author, um, uh, artist, uh, through his own experiences made um, his world um, of imagination come to life um, through his, his writings and had a great influence on the establishment of the Boy Scouts of England and America um, simply because he wrote a 400 page how-to book on woodcraft Indi Indians which was widely used to uh, support the handbooks for the Boy Scouts. He was a genius, uh, Seton. Um, and then there's Frederick Russell Burnham. Uh, an American, an adventurer. He was born on an Indian reservation in Minnesota and traveled the world uh, as an explorer, an adventurer, uh, a soldier, um, and in coming back to the United States helped to, uh, well he became a member of many conservation groups. Uh, went to Arizona, found out that the uh, bighorn sheep were on the verge of extinction and with the help of the Arizona Boy Scouts uh, created uh, one of the biggest preservation uh, sites in America. Uh, specifically for the purpose of uh, giving the bighorn sheep a place to live. Uh, anyway, I just thought that was worth mentioning that even today Ansel Adams, uh, Ernest Seton, and Frederick Burnham are names we're still familiar with. Thank you.